Hey everybody, this is Flammy. Welcome back. I have got something pretty unusual and pretty special here today. You know what? We're going to see how it works out. I have got wizards and healers. Nine of them. Nine healers. Yeah, really. That's not a mistake. That's intentional. So yeah, this is a little bit of a different army composition. If you haven't seen any of my other stuff, let me assure you, I have never done anything like this before so yeah the heal the archers right here in the middle they're just wrapping up the 200 supply because i had a couple left over and then there's one other critical part about it it's not the clan castle although we do have a bunch of archers in here it is in fact the barbarian king so this barbarian king down here was actually going to play a very massive role in this attacking force and what's the goal of that well the goal of that is to take these healers and keep everything else alive so the goal of the healers is to stack them up on the units and because they're doing splash heals and because there'll be multiple of them hopefully they'll be healing tons and tons and tons and keeping my units alive so i got this idea actually from a friend while i start searching um i'm going to be looking for gold mostly try to get a base with over over 150,000 gold i say yeah so i got this idea from a friend uh, a clan mate uh he runs one of the associated clans named sleepy he's got a youtube channel actually i'll link it down below and um, he and another clan mate, another clan leader actually, were saying how this was a pretty fun army composition. I've never even thought about doing this before. And you know what? There's a good base. Now, we just got to check for air defenses. And you know what? I see that there are none. So I think the majority of these resources are going to be... Actually, I think they'll be pretty evenly split in, in between the storages, which will have a good amount, and the gold mines and gold collectors. Um, yeah, sort of unusual base, but you'll notice that it's 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 a weak base in the sense that it doesn't have everything maxed out. Um, and the fact that there's no air defenses means it's going to be really easy for me to do this, um, which I feel sort of cheap about doing. Um, because I feel like I certainly could take on most air defense bases, just not all of them. Anyways, yeah, we're just going to deploy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deploy out here so I can sort of stack up my guys early. Um, and then let's do three healers, uh, one more. And try to keep these guys alive. See how much we can do. Uh, one died because the healers were lagging behind. Okay, that guy's going to die too. <laughs> oh wait, no, they switched. Uh, are they, are they switching? Oh, damn it. Okay, we're going to deploy more guys. <laughs> um, not working quite out as well as I wanted because I got distracted with that one guy over there. But let's go break through the walls over here and then deploy more wizards with them. The goal is we want the wizards to stay together healing the guys. Uh, I expect the Barbarian King might do the best if the healers start jumping on him. But I was thinking the wizard or the wizard will do well as good as well because they should stay relatively grouped up. Yep, so there, there they go in the Barbarian King. So you notice he got low and they switched over because the, heal, the wizards were maxed out. Now the Barbarian King will be tanking lots of damage and the wizards will be dealing lots of damage. Perhaps I should have deployed the Barbarian King first with more healers on him. Looks like he's been getting a little bit out damaged, although he's staying pretty even. As he ta keeps taking on more defenses, he might like start healing up. I do expect that it'll be true. Um, these wizards over here, doing pretty good as well. Um, never actually used the last two, uh, healers, so caught those guys left over still. Man, this is just sort of ripping through the defenses. Um, I would think that this actually might work really well with the Barbarian King, because if you manage to keep him alive, the healers can max him out. Looks like he's gonna die, though. Um, so all well on that. But you know what? We have got the last couple resources dropping now, and that will be a three-star, and that will be a pretty easy three-star as well. Um, sure, the army composition was a bit expensive, but you know what? Look at that. It just rolled all over this base, and this base had more than half a million resources, more than 650,000 resources, actually. So, yeah, that was well worth it. Um, that was very easy, too. You know, I think it was parts of the base, but, you know, I think this army composition could do well. So, I think, uh, if you guys would like to see more, let me know in the comment section down below, because this army composition... I think it's got a lot of wacky potential. So, you know what, guys? I'm going to go right ahead and queue up more armies. But beyond that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been definitely a different sort of video. And I hope you guys enjoyed because, yeah, it really is different. I do like doing sort of wacky stuff like this. So if you've got other wacky stuff like this, please recommend it in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this wacky stuff, please uh, do let me know if I should do more of them and perhaps against a base with more air defenses and see how that works out as well. Alright guys, this has been Flammy. Hope you enjoyed. If you guys have not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I'm putting out Clash of Clans videos every single day, if not multiple videos per day. Doing my best on that part. Alright, beyond that, if you guys have already subscribed, please do uh, like and comment and favorite on this video. 
doing all of that will really help my channel and help others find out awesome content for themselves. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and flash on. Thank you.